Okay, that looks good. All right, so Foreman, Foreman, give Wilder another chance. He can beat Fury easily. Okay, interesting words from Foreman. Let's see what he has to say. I haven't read this already, so it's news to you or it's news to me. Okay, former two-time heavyweight champion George Foreman revealed that he counseled Deontay Wilder in the aftermath of his technical knockout last to Tyson Fury back in February at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Okay, so Wilder suffered his first career defeat and lost his WBC heavyweight crown when he was dropped multiple times and stopped in the seventh round after his corner threw in the towel. Mark Greeland, to be precise. Okay, so the first time around in December 2018, it was Fury who hit the deck twice, including a vicious knockdown in the 12th round. And the contest ended in a controversial 12-round split draw. Yeah, it was controversial. It was controversial. Okay, so Foreman explained that he suffered the same type of defeat when he was stopped by Muhammad Ali during Rumble in the Jungle, which saw Foreman lose his title and suffer his first career defeat. That took place in 1974. I had a nice conversation with Wilder, nice conversation with him. We talked because I was in a position where I lost unexpectedly in Africa. Only I know what he's going through, Foreman tells TMZ Sports. He's going to have to live with it, the fury loss. But I can show him how to live with that and come back better. We talked a lot along those lines. Foreman believes Wilder, with the correct adjustments, can beat Fury and can win the trilogy fight in style. Not only can Wilder beat him, but he can do it easily, George added. Give him another chance. We'll show you, said Foreman. Okay, that's very, very interesting. Give him another chance and he can do it easily. But uh, I think the key terms here, which we can't overlook, is the term with the correct adjustments. And so that the question has to be, what are the adjustments that Deontay Wilder has to make in order to have him beat Tyson Fury? Boom. Let's come out of that and go back into this. Would it be beneficial? for Deontay Wilder to step aside. I think this COVID thing, I think this COVID-19 thing has been a blessing in disguise. It's been an absolute blessing in disguise for Wilder. I mean, they had a short turnaround before to the end of February, February 22nd, five months. He had five months to get ready for the, the trilogy fight after coming off such a battering. But um, now, now with the COVID-19 interference, I think... Does that benefit? Does that benefit Wilder? Does the COVID nineteen pandemic interference benefit Wilder or hurt him? What does it do? I think it benefits him. On the one hand, it could benefit him. On the other hand, it could be more time to mull over the loss. But I don't think so. I think it's more time to correct the things he know he knows he has to correct. He's got to strengthen those legs, but that's the least of his problems. He's got to know how to move his legs. He's got to know, he's got to get some happy feet. Deontay Wilder does not have happy feet. Crosses his legs over, he gets tangled up in his feet. He's got very poor coordination. Another schooling from Tyson. Yeah, um, I think he's going to get schooled again in the third fight. So I'm really questioning whether Deontay Wilder even takes the fight. Deontay Wilder has been in lockdown even before, even before the uh, the COVID-19 struck. So he's been in lockdown for a while, and I'm, I am not convinced, I am not convinced that Deontay Wilder takes the trilogy fight straight away. I am not convinced, but it's going to be interesting because AJ took his rematch straight away. So I think there's pressure, there's pressure from over the pond 
for Deontay Wilder to do likewise. Ped up in the building, and I didn't know you were a, a Masvidal fan. So that's uh, that's cool. How do you do? Okay. He's got to do the ring walk in a mankini. <laughs> That is going to have to be the uniform for Wilder. If he wants to come out on top next time around, he's got to preserve those, got to preserve those chicken legs. We got here. What else we got here? <laughs> okay. 